here's a problem that is a voltage drop problem and it's asking what is the maximum distance maximum distance that a number three conductor carrying 480 volts at a load of 50 amps what is the maximum distance that we can run that conductor if we can accept a three percent voltage drop all right this is a voltage drop question from canadian electrical code that is in section eight it refers to table d3 where we have a relationship that I like to describe always with one formula that looks like this. And if you don't know this formula, please take a look at my videos where I describe it. So 1000 is some just unit conversions between meters and kilometers that we'll need in the problem. Voltage drop is your voltage times that 3% drop. That is equal to a factor called K that is in a table d3 it has units of ohms per kilometer that's why we had to uh, because we were we also have length in this equation but this k factor is in ohms per kilometer that's why we needed this meters per kilometer here uh, to do that conversion uh, and it's also multiplied by f which is a factor in note two of table d3 and we also multiply by the current in amps. In order to look for the maximum distance, we have to solve for length. Length is the distance in meters. And the length is going to be less than or equal to, now I'm solving for length, so this means I'm dividing through by all of this stuff onto the other side. Let me quickly do that. And my equation isolated for the length just looks like this. I'm not changing anything. I'm just rearranging that equation. And I know all of these values I can just substitute in. My conversion stays the same. My units are important to me, so I'm going to keep them going. Uh, voltage drop is going to equal my voltage in volts times my percent drop, which is going to be um, 400, 480 volts um, times the 0 0.03 to represent the 3% voltage drop that we will accept. And I'll do that. Um, uh, I can actually just put that right in the equation like that and then calculate it all at the same time. So here we go, the voltage drop. 480 volts times 0 0.00, oops, 0 0.03 is the 3% voltage drop. What else do I have to put in here? Let's see. <clears throat> I also need um, to find the K value. So the K value, I would go to table D3, which is our voltage drop calculation table. And I find that if I assume power factor equals one and that this is copper and it's acting at 75 degrees Celsius, therefore it I can see for a, what size is this? For a three gauge conductor, then I can read from the chart that K is equal to 0 0.792. Therefore, I can put it in here, 0 0.792 ohms per kilometer, ohms per kilometer. Do not do calculations without using units. Units are what help you see if you are right or wrong. Uh, two is the factor F from table D3, note two, I believe. D3 note two, yes. And uh, then we are operating at 50 amps of current. There we go, 14,400. If I punch that into a calculator over 79.3, um, this would be meters, meters on the numerator and volts on the numerator over kilometers on the numerator, ohms over kilometers on the denominator times amps. 
Uh, let's check our units, see if we get meters. Um, a volt and an amp is the same as an ohm, kilometer, kilometer, both in denominators there. And I am left with meters. So 181 meters of length is the maximum amount that this three gauge conductor carrying 480 volts at 50 amps with a 3% voltage drop can run. Hopefully that's helpful to you. If it is, please click like, let me know what you liked about it. Let me know what you didn't like about it and follow me for more example problems as you study the Canadian Electrical Code. Thank you.